Hey guys and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. Now one of the biggest power killers in the baseball swing is when we cut ourselves off too short through the zone. And what I'm talking about is when we get into contact and we try to finish our swing too quickly and we don't get that nice extension with both arms after contact. Now if this is something you've been struggling with, I've got a great drill that you can do today with a wiffle ball bat that'll help you start tackling that problem right away and it'll also help you pick up some power to the opposite field. Let's go ahead and get started. Now two things you want to pay attention to when you're struggling with cutting your swing off short is the first, the big, the first and probably the biggest one is the chicken wing. And what I'm talking about is when you see this, this, your front elbow, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate. When you get into the swing and you see this front elbow get hiked up real high and more times than not the wrist will actually be below the elbow. So now it's, it's not necessarily a bent elbow because when you finish with, if you're, if you finish your swing with two hands, properly the wrist is going to be above the elbow in the follow through but if we're cutting our swing off short you'll see this elbow get hiked up in the air and that's the chicken wing so that's going to be a, a the, probably the biggest telltale sign that you're cutting yourself off short through the zone and you're not getting that extension because we're having to do this with our elbow so that's going to be the first thing you want to look for the second one's a little bit more subtle it's when you, you're, you're more or less sliding across the baseball when we're getting into contact and we just kind of are finishing the swing. I kind of chicken winged a little bit there, but you kind of, you can actually finish with nice long arms, but the, the back gets here and it kind of slides out of the zone and then you finish your swing. So that's going to be a little bit more subtle of a, uh, of cutting yourself off short through the zone. And uh, actually, as an added bonus, this is actually going to be a real good help for guys that are struggling with ripping the shoulders open too soon and letting the bat drag behind them. So just a quick recap on, on proper contact in, in, in an ideal situation. Proper contact is going to happen just like this. We're going to create nice bat lag, okay? We're going to get into the contact position, okay, with slightly bent arms, and then full extension actually happens just after contact. So our arms get nice and long here. So that's just what we want to make sure that we're not trying to make contact with our arms extended. That's a big misconception in, uh, in baseball is that we want to make contact with our arms way out here. So the drill we're going to do is going to be one that you've probably seen a lot of other times where we're going to use the wiffle ball bat to actually throw the bat down the field and kind of see where our energy is going. But we're going to make sure that we, we're actually going to have a purpose behind this drill. We're actually going to get something out of it. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to use an imaginary ball and a tee, and we're going to use a tee. So we actually have something that we're swinging at and have something that our mind can think, okay, we're going towards a target with this, and we're not just up here throwing the bat, okay? And secondly, we're going to make sure that we're staying mechanically sound when we're doing this. It's really easy to get off when we're holding a real light bat. And also when we're using a real light bat, it's really easy to do this wrong. So it's going to be very, very good for feedback. And this is actually a drill I'm going to have you do at full speed because it's going to be the hardest to do at full speed. Like a lot of my drills, you go a little slower at first, but this one we're going to go full speed. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off getting, getting into our perfect T setups and we're going to get into the setup and we're going to swing to the imaginary ball and we're going to let go of the bat. So if you want to start this off, you can just try to take an imaginary swing and let go of the bat and see where it goes. More times than not, a lot of the guys, especially ones that are cutting themselves off short, it'll look a lot like this. Where we're getting here, we're getting set up. And as you can see there, the bat got launched straight to the left of me and that's, that's what happens more times than not. So what, what we're going to ideally want out of this drill is to get into our perfect T setup and at full speed, get to our low stride position and take our hands to the imaginary ball and let go of the bat and ideally the bat's going to go more towards right center field. Just like that. So we're going to make sure that that bat's going towards right center field and the things that we're going to want to make sure that we're doing in this drill, like I said, we're not just up here throwing the bat. We want to make sure that we do get into this perfect tee setup and that Oh, as always, our hands stay nice and in front of that toe line the whole time, and we're not turning our shoulders to throw the bat over in that direction. And also, we want to monitor our chest position, and that when we're throwing it over that way, that when we let go of the bat, we don't have the, the weight of the bat bringing our, our, our body around. So we should be able to control the chest position 
really well with this and make sure that that chest is pointing somewhere out towards about where the second baseman would be playing. And make sure you're really staying disciplined with these, with these checkpoints so that you know that you're getting good reps in. And what this is going to do, it's going to eventually, I mean, you have to extend the arms to execute this drill properly. So by doing the, a bunch of repetitions with this drill, you're still going to start getting really used to letting those arms release and get good extension through the ball. And then because you're in the perfect tee setup, you'll be in the right position at contact. So you'll be slightly bent with, with your, your arms at contact before extension. So after you get a good 50 to 100 repetitions of this drill in and your arms are extending really nicely, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna pick up your bat and I would stick with the imaginary ball for a good 20 more repetitions and start using that same feeling you had of throwing the bat to that right center field. And I'll show you from this, this way too. You're gonna have this feeling where you're throwing the bat out that way and you're letting those arms get really really long and you're letting the bat take you around versus trying to snap it out of the zone. And after you get those good 20 repetitions in, once you, once you get the, the, the bat back in your hands, go ahead and put some balls up on the tee and start using that same feeling and start hitting these ball. These balls should go towards right center field just like the bat and start using that same feeling to get nice extension through the zone. And once you start getting really nice extension on the tee, make sure you get another good 25 to 50 repetitions there. So I know it's a lot of reps, but this is a big problem that, that, that takes a lot of power out of the swing. And then once you start getting it, you're going to pick up a ton of bat speed and you're going to be able to hit the opposite field much better than you ever thought you could. And it's a crucial point in your swing that you're going to need every time you go to the plate. Now guys, something really important to remember is that you can get good extension. You can get good long arms with a, a terrible swing. You know, I could drop my arms way down here, turn my shoulders and get good extension with that swing, but you know, obviously those mechanics aren't exactly ideal. You still, you still have to have good mechanics when you're getting extension through the ball. And I have a great power hitting series that helps you do just that. If you want to check that out, I'm going to play a preview at the end of this video from one of the videos in our power hitting series. And you can check out that video by clicking on the link that pops up in that preview or in the description below. And you can see that video plus the entire series absolutely free of charge. And guys, if you have any questions or comments on this video or anything else, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get to them personally. And, and as always, if you guys could, like, like subscribe, pl and plus one this video on Google. That really helps me grow the channel. And I always appreciate it every single time you guys do. Thanks again for watching, guys. Good luck with your games. Good luck with your swings. And I'll see you guys soon. Our body's the engine. It's going to be the thing that gets us a lot of power. And the reason, the most common reason of casting is because we get these shoulders spun right here. And what we have to do now is rip the shoulders open to get our hands back to the, the ball. And we cre create centrifugal force. And now our hands have to go away from our body to get to the ball. Now to fix this, the first thing we're going to do